What's up everyone, it's Iceman Oz, aka Jay, and today I've got for you guys the M60 ULT. Now, if you don't play the CTE, which is the community test environment, you'll have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, and that's all good because I didn't have a clue about this either until I started playing the CTE. So in short, if you've played Battlefield before, you'll know about the M60E4, it's an LMG. Well, basically, the M60 ULT is an explosive variant of that gun, meaning that the rounds that come out of it are explosive. Typically, in Battlefield, the incendiary weapons and the explosive round weapons aren't really that good because they have to be balanced because, obviously, they do explode and they have a lot of splash damage, so they can't actually be that powerful, otherwise they would be overpowered. Well, just imagine that they didn't make it underpowered like they did to traditionally all these other explosive rounds and just made it high damage, but at the same time, they also explode. So not only can you miss a little bit, but you can actually hit the target and have extremely high damage against infantry. Not only is this thing good against infantry, it's also actually good against vehicles. Yes, you heard me right. However, there is a catch to this. You can only get vehicles that aren't armored, so basically tanks, LAVs, you can't actually do anything to. But buggies, red boats, etc., they can all be damaged by this thing. And it's so cool shooting down these targets, because you actually feel like it, it's really the Rambo gun. <laughs> if you've ever seen any of the Rambo movies, that's basically what we're dealing with. Unfortunately, we don't actually have the stats to this weapon, so I can't really say exactly how much damage it does, recoil patterns and all of that. However, you'll just have to take my word for it that it's really strong, and when you use it in-game, you'll know it's really strong. Now, if you want to actually use it, it can be found on the crashed heli site between the A flag and the C flag on the hill, which is kind of in between, but it's really closer to the C flag. But good luck trying to use it, because literally everyone is trying to get a hold of it, and when you did get a hold of it, for example, I had a teammate who was just shooting around me so I'd get killed because the enemies would know where we're at, so he could then pick up the gun later. It's just, it's just crazy, so when you get a hold of this gun, make sure you keep a hold of it, otherwise you're gonna lose it, and you're not gonna be giving it back anytime soon. When it comes to visuals on the weapon, you'll see that there is actually a bad company logo on the rounds carrier which is quite interesting um, it, I don't know if it leads to some sort of Easter egg bad company 3 confirms but <laughs> but yeah that's it's crazy but I don't think it really means anything I think they just put it there as you know some sort of discussion topic and to add more variants to the original m60 another difference when it comes to the visuals from the original m60 is that it actually has chopper mounds on the front of the gun now that's quite interesting because you obviously find the gun at the chopper site, meaning that this M60 was originally a part of this heli, which I guess there's a whole lore to this gun, so it's absolutely crazy. They've obviously put a lot of thought into this weapon, and I really enjoy it. It's something different. So to summarize, this gun's OP as hell, but it's not really gonna cause that much difference, and it's not really gonna really anger people, because most people are in vehicles anyway, so it, it's really one of those things where it definitely suits the map very well. I don't know how it would work on other maps, for example, like infantry based maps I can imagine this gun on Metro Jesus like it would be awful thank god it's not on Metro but there it is guys let me know what you think about this gun in the comments section below I'll have a new video coming up soon regarding uh, Battlefield Hardline I know I said my last video on Hardline was a while ago but I've got one more planned so hopefully you guys will find it interesting but uh, yeah there it is guys hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did please like share subscribe and peace